So we will be looking at chest pain today. Chest pain is a, a common presentation. It's important uh, to identify a patient when uh, he presents or she presents with chronic stable angina. By definition, chronic stable angina is angina triggered by a extraneous factor such as physical activity, emotional stress uh, after a meal, which is called postprandial angina or uh, particularly brought in at night time. The severity and frequency of angina attacks remain quite stable. So therefore it is called chronic stable angina. So in your history, remember to ask about the nature and severity of the chest pain. Check whether the pain responds to sublingual nitrate therapy. Identify the patient's coronary risk factor profile and define the patient's angina distance by asking how many meters or yards can the patient walk prior to experiencing angina. So once the history is done, we move on to physical examination and the physical examination in angina is quite unremarkable. However, you can look for evidence of uh, coronary risk factors in your physical examination such as a tachycardia, hypertension or stigmata of hypercholesterolemia, particularly familial hypercholesterolemia such as xanthal asthma or uh, tendon xanthomas or also look for any evidence of obesity. Now the investigations are twofold, twofold in chronic stable angina. First and foremost, you perform the screening test if the clinical picture and the risk factor profile is supportive of a diagnosis of chronic stable angina. So the first set of tests should be uh, screening tests. These are non-invasive and relatively economical or cheap tests. These tests inc include exercise stress test, which has a rather low sensitivity, sensitivity and specificity. Uh, exercise stress echo, which is uh, more sensitive and uh, specific. Uh, exercise dobutamine uh, stress echo, where instead of physical exercise, patient's heart is stimulated by an infusion of dob dobutamine or you can perform a myocardial perfusion scan, a radionuclide scan, which also has higher sensitivity and specificity than a uh, standard exercise stress test. And if the patient has an intermediate risk of coronary disease, a CT coronary angiogram could be performed as well. If any of those screening tests are positive for coronary ischemia, the next investigation is the gold standard investigation, which is coronary angiography. Coronary angiography is invasive and expensive, so therefore it is reserved for patients who test positive for any of the non-invasive screening tests. Thank you.